what up Yon Squad and welcome back to the vlog. We are actually getting a really, really late start to the vlog today, but I hope you guys are having a great day. If you guys are new here, my name is Cody. Welcome to my channel. Right now we're getting ready to head off to the mall. I've been coming up with some really, really good video ideas that I want to do for you guys, but I don't really have all the equipment. So we're going to head over to the mall. We're going to hit Apple and I think we're going to hit Best Buy and hopefully be able to get all the stuff that we need for these videos. I thought the mall was crazy last night when I came here. There is like triple the amount of people here now than there was yesterday. This mall is always so packed on the weekends. I try avoid coming here, but I got to get some stuff done. Just got over to Apple and I'm looking at the DJI Mavic. I want the Mavic Pro 2. It just came out, but I'm not too sure if they have any here. So I'm going to ask someone, what is that? That's pretty dope. It's like a remote control. I came to the other side of the store and they have the Mavic 2 Zoom and they have the Mavic 2 Pro. But I still want to ask somebody and get like a comparison, uh, the difference of the two. We ended up going with the Mavic 2 Pro. The Pro compared to the Zoom, the only difference is that pretty much the Pro has better quality. Why I'm getting the Mavic is because it's got the auto tracking. So you can connect it up to your phone and then wherever your phone is, it follows you. So when I'm going off-roading and stuff like that, if I want to do any mudding, the drone will follow us. And then obviously I'm going to be using it for other types of videos as well. Romeo and I are checking out this gym. It's called Athletic Apex. They put this gym inside of the mall. I guess it's like $40 a month for two people. All new equipment, three stories. This is sick. I might have to get a membership here. And we just came downstairs to check out another level. Yo, this gym is huge. They got everything here. Yo, this turf is I just sick. like the fact that it's like all new equipment. Yeah, and they got the tires, bro. Like you could do the tire flip. Yeah, flipping the big tires. Oh yeah, I see them over there. Let me see you uh, do like 15 push-ups real quick. Damn right, can I do it again? Cause yeah. I am like so I got to win. Break bread with the enemy. Don't expect me to do that. I forgot to put on deodorant and I'm not trying to be walking around the mall smelling like a bag of onions. Are you still going? You about to have a heart attack. You about to pass out. Yo, I love how they got the tires here so you can do the tire flip. I've always wanted to do that, but I've never done it before. They got all these rowing machines here too. And Rome was telling me that with these rowing machines, I guess like when you increase your resistance, they add soap into the water to make it thicker and harder to pull. That's sick. You just had to come over to Best Buy. I'm gonna be grabbing a head strap with the clip for the GoPro as well. Is there anything else I need for the GoPro here? I think this is it for right now, but I definitely do need to grab a new tripod for the camera. Now for the tripod, I'm always going with the Joby Gorilla Pods. I love these things. They're just so sturdy for like the bigger camera since I'm using a DSLR instead of a pocket cam and this is like the biggest one that they have. Feels so good to be back vlogging but I just spent so much money today. It's going to be worth it though because I'm going to be able to create more entertaining content for you guys. Get you guys to subscribe and stick around. Romeo is literally walking up to every sample lady in the food court and getting a sample. This man. Bro. You did 20 push-ups but you about to gain all that weight back that you just lost. Finally just ended up putting my tripod on my camera. I felt so lost not having one on and I felt like at some point I was gonna end up dropping this camera so I'm glad that I ended up getting a tripod. Romeo had to run into Panera real quick to grab his girlfriend Ashley some iced tea and then also to get Luciano some mac and cheese and then we're gonna head home. I'm gonna work on setting up this drone. Might end up putting some drone clips in this vlog just to test it out and see how it is. I'm not too sure just yet depending on how long the battery takes to charge and it is really 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 windy out right now so I'm also hoping that the wind is gonna calm down a little bit. And now I want to address something. We're gonna be talking about something in this vlog that I've been seeing a lot of. So many of you have noticed and complimented on Rachel's weight loss, which I'm extremely grateful for and she is as well. But then there's a lot of people making rude comments, claiming that she didn't lose weight the right way, just making some really, really negative comments. So when Rachel gets out of work tonight, we're going to have a sit down video. Her and I are going to sit down and we're going to talk about how she lost so much weight. Romeo had to run over to Wegmans real quick and he's like, yo, just drop me off up front. I'm going to be like five minutes. This man's been in Wegmans for 25 minutes already. If I knew it was going to be this long, I would have just went inside. I've already burned like half a tank of gas just sitting here for 25 minutes not even driving after about waiting 35 minutes for romeo at wegmans he finally decided he was going to give me a call and he was like bro I am gonna be a lot longer than I thought. So you can head home. I'm gonna have Ashley come pick me up. I'm getting a little hungry, so I decided to come over to Rachel's work to grab some food. And while I was sitting in the Wegmans parking lot, my dad ended up sending me a couple videos. He went mudding today. He has two Jeep XJs just like mine. And one of them he just recently ended up purchasing about a month ago. Now this new Jeep that he has is an eight and a half inch lift and 35 inch tires. And my dad went through a hole and the entire inside of his Jeep was flooded. So I'm gonna play that video right now for you guys. Oh, hey, yeah. Say how deep it is. Look at my 
welcome to the driver's seat. And now I told you guys that I had just gotten a drone because I wanted to be able to record me going mudding and doing stuff like that for you guys. And it got me thinking. The whole reason I ended up getting a Jeep and getting into mudding in the first place was because of my dad. So I texted him. I was like, I really want to come down there. I want to do some mudding with you. And he was like, come on down. We have an extra room you can stay in and let's do some mudding. So I have a little goal for you guys. If we can hit 15,000 likes on this video, I will end up taking a road trip down to New Jersey to do some mudding with my dad. I think that would be extremely entertaining. We got the drone, we got the GoPros, and my dad is also friends with a ton of Jeep guys down there. So when we go, we go out in packs. So if you guys would like to see that vlog, let's try hitting 15,000 likes. The only thing I can really eat when I come over to Rachel's work is the pasta with pizza sauce. And then I got some plain bread over here as well. Wasn't able to finish all my pasta, but you got race boxing it up for me. That food was honestly so delicious. And guess what? Somehow I managed to make it out of there without getting anything on this sweater. But the only thing that sucks is right before I came over here, I was at Wegmans waiting in the parking lot super long for Romeo to get done grocery shopping. And Rachel just talked to me and she was like, okay, when I get out of work, we're going to go to the store. Rachel closes tonight. So she's not going to be out until 1030. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to run to Wegmans for her and get all the stuff that she needs. I swear being in Syracuse, Wegmans is my new Walmart. If you guys are an OG and you guys know when I lived in Vegas, Devin and I would hit Walmart, if not once, twice every single day. Wegmans round number two. Rachel sent me a pretty decently fat list of stuff that I need to get. So I'm definitely going to need a shopping cart. Wegmans prepackaged macaroni and cheese, bananas, thinly sliced chicken breast, veggie spaghetti, some cherry Coke, some KY jelly. I'm just kidding. So I got everything that we need. Rachel wanted burn dairy chocolate ice cream, but they don't have it here. So I think I'm going to swing by burn dairy and then grab her some chocolate ice cream and then we'll be good to go home. Finally just ended up getting home and right now I'm about to unbox the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. One thing I'm definitely liking about this drone already is the box is just so much smaller than the Phantom. I had the Phantom 4 and look at that. This thing is looking so pretty. I think you can get smaller traveling cases for these as well, but uh, let's take everything out and then I guess we're going to set this bad boy up. Uh, hopefully it has some battery. If not, I'm going to throw it on the charger really quick and charge it up. Are you helping daddy unbox the drone? You're so crazy. You're so crazy. You know that? You're a crazy dog. Just ended up getting the drone all unboxed and this thing is sick. Chloe, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. Why are you wagging your tail, huh? Why are you wagging your tail, mamas? She always thinks I'm talking to her. Fearless! <laughs> with the drone for a little bit which is sick but the only thing is is the entire time I was flying it I kept getting a high velocity wind warning I don't want to go too crazy with the drone shots tonight just because it is so windy and if you guys remember the last time I had a drone and it was windy this is how it ended while I was recording that drone footage for you guys a huge gust of wind came and blew my drone right into a tree and this side over here is just all smashed up but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of footage I'm definitely excited to see what is to come with this drone and what sick content we'll be able to create with it. Right now it is about 10.30 and I have to head off and pick Rachel up from work. We're just now getting back from picking Rachel up from work. It's about 11 o'clock right now. We're laying in bed, getting ready to call it a night. And I told you guys earlier in this video that I was gonna address, you know, how Rachel ended up losing so much weight. Cause I had seen some negative comments on the past couple of vlogs on how she ended up losing all the weight. So I ended up deleting them and I felt like it was a good idea to address the situation. Pretty much while Rachel was living in Las Vegas, she wasn't working. She was at home by herself all the time because I would always be out with Devin doing stuff for the vlog and she would get bored and she would just eat a lot. Once we moved to LA, I met a girl named Afaf. She ran a lot. I hated running. I, I still do. That's how I shedded all my weight. I ran straight for one month, one mile every day, plus some other exercises, but that's how I lost all the weight. And then she's been able to keep off a lot of the weight being here in Syracuse because she has a steady job now. She works almost 40 hours a week and she's a runner at a restaurant.
restaurant. So she's always back and forth bringing people their food. So she's staying active. So losing weight is very, very simple. If you just simply cut back on what you're eating, you can still eat a lot of the things that you love, but portion control. You have to eat in portions because Rachel still pigs out. I wouldn't say pigs out, but she still eats like all the stuff that she loves to eat, but she just eats it in smaller portions and then she remains active. Me, I just have a much slower metabolism. So it's going to require me to do a lot of cardio and definitely a lot of diet control to lose more weight. But since I've been vegan, I've managed to lose almost 40 pounds. When I moved to LA from Vegas, I was 296 pounds and now I'm down to like 254, 255. Honestly, it depends what I eat throughout the day and depends if I go to the bathroom in the morning or not so it varies a couple pounds for those of you saying negative things about Rachel and how she lost her weight this is an explanation right here it's very very simple stay active and if you're eating what you love even though you portioned it out and you're still not losing weight then maybe it's time to try something new try a different type of diet try keto no carbs or cut out sugars simple stuff like that there's so many little things that you guys can do to shed an extra few pounds you know and everyone is different there's a bunch of things that you guys can try don't get discouraged and just go and do it. You'll be so much happier. And going back to Rachel's point where not everything works for everyone, for me being vegan, I eat a lot of carbs. I eat a lot of pasta. I eat a lot of bread and I've still managed to lose weight. And then there's people that eat carbs and they gain a ton of weight. So everybody's different. So it's all about trying new things and figuring out what works for you. Alrighty guys, I think with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for this vlog. I can't wait to see what footage I'm going to be able to get in the future for you guys with that drone. Like I said, it was just a little too windy to do any crazy drone shots, but I'm definitely excited to see what's to come using the drone. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.